here I will show you how you update your Shopify store daily from Google Sheets. So let's start fresh from the Excelify app uh, export. We just export products and inventory uh, so that for this example we'll be looking how to uh, basically update the inventory. But you can update any other items in the store uh, the same way. Let's just wait a couple of seconds for it to finish. Dum, dum, dum. Yep, it's finished. So I'm downloading now the exported file and I'll pretend that I don't have Excel at all. So I will just move the file directly to the Google Drive, let it synchronize. And now let's see should be here yep it's here now and I'll just open it directly in the Google Sheets so that we have this through the Google Sheets completely and for the sake of example let's delete all the other columns which we don't which we will not update because uh, that will just take and update those which we import. And uh, typically, let's delete this. Typically, you have your inventory uh, and prices from somewhere by the variance queue. So we will update all your products also by the variance queue, as if uh, as if your supplier, for example, sent them to you. So I'm now deleting all the other columns which I don't need, keeping the quantity, the, the var variant price, the compare at price, and I can delete everything else too. Yep, so basically this kind of uh, table is enough uh, to be changed, updated regularly, and imported into Shopify as an update. So for for the sake of example, let's let's do some changes here now. We put all the quantities to 1000 and now we will put the prices to let's say 500 here and leave those as they are and now to make this possible to import into Shopify we need to uh, share it and get shareable link like this we just copy the link and now we go back to the app and paste this URL in here in the import section and press the upload button. Uh, wait it to analyze. Uh, basically, it already got the file. It's analyzed and it found 13 products or like items uh, because uh, it, it doesn't know which product is which, so it's, it's counting the SKUs. And uh, now uh, we could press just the import and import it manually at, at this very moment. But I want to show you uh, how can you schedule it daily automatically so that you don't have to come back and import it manually. Although you can do it if you want. So I'm marking to schedule. Uh, if I don't select the date here, it will just start from today and I'll mark from 4 a.m. which is the Shopify store time zone 4 a.m. Your, your own Shopify store time zone and I will tell it to repeat every day until cancelled which means forever basically and here you see that it shows that it will always take the fresh data from this spreadsheet which we just pasted so whatever data you will have there it will just at four and four at night it will import it and now we schedule this import let it uh, yep now it's scheduled now we see that there is one scheduled job and if we go to history and schedule we should see it appearing here shortly not 
yet. Let's refresh. This page is not refreshing automatically just yet, so okay. You see, uh, there are uh, there is already a job uh, which was started right now and it's in progress it's importing uh, those uh, this update because it knows that for today since we wanted it to start from today today it didn't run at four o'clock so it needs to catch up and it's running now if we would want to start from tomorrow then we should have chosen the tomorrow's date and then there is a next job already scheduled for tomorrow which is waiting and you can cancel it from here if you want and here upload from URL if we click it it takes us to the very file which we are importing so basically that way we can check from which file we are actually importing let's refresh it and yep it's done you see that it updated 10 products and uh, here the files here are the first one is the ultimate source yes the google sheets the second file is actually what it downloaded for the import so uh, even if this file will change in the future you can always come back here and you can see what was the snapshot of that moment that was imported there so if we open this file we see that this was the file that was imported at this at this very instance and now if we click uh, to see the import results file uh, we will see what were the results of this particular import right and so, so it the app adds some additional uh, fields for you to to be able to find any problems uh, for example the handle and ID helps to, to understand for example, if the certain SKU was not updated as you want, then you can check whether this SKU actually was found for the particular product. But yeah, here we see that everything is updated as OK. And now uh, if we would go to, for example, I have, I think, already open. Uh, yeah, Airbus A300 is open. And here are still the old. Uh, values and now I refresh I should see that yep it's changed inventory and price has changed uh, from this update yeah now this is how you uh, can just now continue updating daily here your inventory and the app will just at 4 a.m. update your store from this file every time 